Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video. This time I'm going to show you how you can deploy your Django application on the Heroku platform. We got to uh, follow around 10 steps to get there. Uh, let me show you how. The first thing you need is going to be your Django application. So you got to be ready with your application beforehand. If you are, then we'll be installing some additional packages such as Cyclops 2 GUnicon, Django Heroku, and White Noise. Those who are wondering why we need this Cyclops G2, it is because I'm going to use a Postgres database later on. Uh, so for that Postgres database, we need this little piece of package installed. And what about Junicon? Actually, Heroku needs a web server gateway interface to run your Django application on their platform. Without it, uh, Heroku is unable to run our Python application. Make sense? So you got to make sure that Junicon is installed properly. Then we also need uh, two more packages to install. One of them is Django Heroku, which, is, uh, which automatically configures your application to work on Heroku. And finally, white noise to collect your static files. Now let's move on to step number three, which is nothing but writing uh, a runtime.txt file. It is a tiny um, bit of a file that barely has anything inside it. It defines which version of Python is going to run on the server. I will show you that in a second. Then we need a proc file, which is also called process file. This file is one of the most important files when you are dealing with the Heroku platform. Without this proc file, we will fail to deploy our app. So must need a file. Uh, step number five is to generate a run uh, requirements.txt file. Heroku needs to read this file first and install the necessary packages on the server for us. Step six is to create a GitHub repo and push our local application on that repo. Step number seven is to create an app on the Heroku platform. If you already have an account on Heroku platform, you can create an app there easily, free of cost. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's not that scary. I will guide you through uh, how to do that. Uh, step number eight is to add a database on Heroku, which is going to be Postgres in our case. Number nine is to adjust Postgres database credential on the settings.py file. And finally, number 10 would be adjusting the settings.py file one more time for static files collection. Now I have a plan, okay? Uh, let me uh, tell you the plan here. Uh, you're seeing the Django application in the top left corner, right? Uh, this Django application is needed to be pushed on your GitHub repo. And after logging into your Heroku account, we will kind of pull this Django application from the GitHub repo, okay? And finally, Heroku will make sure that our application goes live successfully. Now, if you can finish all of these steps alongside me, you are guaranteed to succeed. Uh, let me tell you one thing though. Uh, please try to see the entire video and avoid skipping. It is because you might miss one critical step and end up being unsuccessful. So stick around and keep on watching. Now, I will show you all of the steps sequentially. Before doing that, I have one request, guys. Please, please, please hit the like button. And if you think that I should continue creating these sort of videos and tutorials, then please, please, please subscribe to my channel. It's not going to cost you anything, guys. Just hit the like button and consider subscribing. This is uh, going to immensely inspire me to create more videos like this. So please. Uh, enough talking. Now let's jump onto the visual code and proceed further. Welcome back on the visual code. Um, I have already created a, a Django application which is named at DDAH. This is a sim very simple application, uh, but you get the idea that this application we are trying to deploy on Heroku. Okay, guys. Uh, now I'm going to install uh, four packages um, as uh, discussed earlier. So those those are going to be the Cyclops G2, Junicon, Django, Heroku, and White Noise. So I'm going to write down over here, and it will start installing. So yeah, it, it is uh, installing uh, four four packages for us, and let's be freeze. It seems like uh, we successfully installed all of them. Now we are going to create a runtime.txt file, runtime.txt, and oh, I think I made a mistake. It's not runtime. It's runtime. Make sure the spell is correct. So runtime.txt, and this runtime.txt will define uh, what the Python version would be. So what is our Python version? Um, I, we need to check. So Python dash dash version, and oops, I think I made a mistake. Python dash dash version, 
and I think it, it says Python 3.7.4 right um, but here's the thing I'm not going to say Python 3.7.4 I'm going to say 3.7.9 rather it is because I have already tried with 7.4 and it did not work for me so uh, I'm gonna use the uh, higher version 3.7.9 which is compatible with uh, recent Heroku platform I guess and there's another thing um, it, it says the bigger P right it says the bigger P over here at the bottom but we are going to use the smaller case uh, smaller P uh, smaller case P I would say uh, otherwise it won't work so let's save this one runtime text runtime of text is done now I can create the prop file this prop file will be having um, some text inside and I'm gonna copy and from somewhere and I'll paste it here so that's the thing you gotta write uh, python manage.py.migrate and web uh, unicorn and you gotta write your application name over here so in my case is ddhah uh, you should be writing yours uh, the proc file is saved now so proc file is done uh, then we can um, generate requirements.txt file so let's write pip freeze requirements.txt okay so the requirements.txt file is uh, written you can check it's done okay now we are okay with this uh, requirements.txt I can go ahead and um, create the github repo um, actually I already uh, created a repo for this application it's called ddh so you gotta be creating yours once this is done um, I think um, I need a uh, I need to push this uh, on the repo but before doing that I can also uh, go to the Heroku platform and I can create an app I think we already discussed about that because um, uh, we need to create an app before we can uh, pull the repo from github to Heroku so let's create an app new create new app it's, it's gonna be let's say D D A H app is available okay let's create the app okay it seems like it is all right and now I can um, create a database as well so let's say resources let's go to the resource and I think I can write Postgres over here Hiroko Postgres let's click on that let's submit order form and it will generate a Heroku process for us once this is done um, we can go to this uh, Postgres uh, database um, I mean you just click on that thing uh, click on that Heroku Postgres and it will redirect to this page it says not uh, okay uh, is there now so uh, you will have multiple options over here let's go to the setting uh, and let's go to the view credentials and here you can see the all the credentials we will be needing so let me copy this host name and uh, let me go to this settings file where is the database one okay this database one I think I need to change this database credential uh, so uh, let me change this uh, database credential I'm gonna comment out this and because that is for the post uh, that is for the uh, SQL light but we need this for Postgres so now I can go and copy this uh, this host name and uh, I can put it over here not this one I think this one okay I think this one actually <laughs> sorry about that the host okay and then I can go the uh, check I can copy the database name so that's the database name I can go and get the username and also the password okay hopefully it is done so let's save this one and I have to um, also do some adjust uh, adjustment uh, let me uh, import this uh, static root uh, for the file collection so 
I'm going to have this let me comment out this I don't need this so this static root is for the um, static file collection uh, let's say you have some images and the static files then you will be needing this um, so you gotta write Django Heroku dot settings dot locals and you say the static root is slash static so you kind of write this down and it will be okay don't worry about it and uh, for this uh, I have to import some stuff so let me import on the top so I'm importing OS and Django Heroku and also I need to allow uh, the host so so the allow host part I'm gonna write this instead so it says gdh hiroko app.com so that's fine and um, yeah that's pretty much it um, so now I can uh, kind of push this uh, so git status and it says git um, add let me commit this git commit mm, as such is the first push okay so that's gonna be committed and now git push upstream origin master okay has pushed right okay and I can also do some like python manage.py and I can say make migration and I can say python manage.py migrate so that will migrate our database on Postgres on Heroku okay it is migrating meanwhile what we can do um, we can kinda come over here and refresh this let me check if it's here yeah the push is here and now uh, I can go to the I think I should be on the app so let's say overview no it should be on deploy so let's click on deploy and from deployment please uh, check this github one so because we are collecting our application from github and uh, so repo name is gonna be ddah uh, so let's search and it uh, gives you the it shows you then uh, github repo name so that's uh, in my case is monitor 090 is gdh and you can connect and it will now it's going to bring your application over here it's ready you know uh, if you have multiple uh, branches it will show here uh, in my case it's just master so uh, it is already selected and now all you have to do is just uh, click on this deploy branch um, okay let's let me do that for you finger crossed let's see mm -hmm. it is installing SQLite it is installing peep setup tools yeah seems like it is installing uh, it's gonna take a while uh, maybe a couple of seconds um, so meanwhile you can go and uh, like my video and you can also hit the bell icon and subscribe my channel guys Mm, yeah seems like it is working and what about uh, these um, yeah, Postgres one uh, database one you can see it has created 48 rows out of 10,000 so that means um, the migration is successful as well um, so yeah it says release command declare DDOS Heroku app uh, deployed to Heroku seems like it is working it will take a few seconds more I guess yeah and it says deploy to Heroku your app was successfully deployed so now you can click on that view button and it will open up your application yeah so that's gdah uh, app heroku.com you, you say you write admin and you can go to your admin panel so yeah that is pretty much it guys so thank you very much and uh, I'll see you on next video bye bye